the Tuesday morning. Good morning. <laughs> I am back. Today I want to read Psalms 94 and 19 to you. When my anxious thoughts multiply within me, your comforts delight me. And what that is saying to me is, who, when my thoughts become, when I get anxious from my mind racing, trying to figure things out on my own, mm. They multiply. Those thoughts multiply. That means I'm all over the place. That means I'm going to have a little unstable thinking. That means I may make some irrational um, choices, you know, and they won't be firm decisions. Because when we are have our mind focused on the Lord and the goodness of the Lord and just his promises, we can make good decisions. But when our mind is racing and it's anxious, that means we're antsy. We can't be still. Then we're all over the place. So we're going to make some irrational choices. And I just want to talk about the other part of this. It says, when my anxious thoughts multiply within me, your comforts delight me. That means the comforts of the Lord delight in you. That means you reflect on the promises of God. And his promises are yes and amen towards us. The word of God tells us to be anxious for nothing, but to pray without ceasing. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 tells us to trust in the Lord thy God with, our own, with our, all of our heart. Mm. Trust in the Lord thy God with your whole heart. Lean not unto your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge God, and he shall direct your paths. That means once we do that, we put that hope and trust in God, and we rely on him, those anxious thoughts are gone. And when we do as Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 tells us to, that means mm, that we have the comfort of the Lord. That means we have the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Because you know the Holy Spirit comforts us in times that we are going through. The Holy Spirit is always waiting to speak to us, to give us a word, to... Mm, to give us a word, to give us revelation of the word. That's one reason, too, when we have those anxious thoughts and our mind is racing, excuse me, and our mind is racing, it is vital that we reflect on the goodness of the Lord, that we think of, you know, scriptures that can remind us that, hey, God promised me this, God promised me that. And even if it's not what he promised you that you're thinking on things, but, you know, his word is there to uplift us. The word of God is there to uplift us. And he said, if you commit your works unto me, I will give you the desires of your heart. So we commit everything to God. That means we commit our thoughts to God because we have to make sure our thoughts are in alignment with what the word of God tells us. That means we have to think on things that are pure, honest, and true. And just think on the goodness of God. We don't even have to go back to what he has done for us in the past. We can just look at the present, which is today. He woke us up this morning. We may have some pain in our body, but we can get up. We can move. We have the activity of our limbs. We can raise our hands and give God praise. You can open your mouth and speak. You can share the goodness of the gospel of Jesus Christ with someone today. So look at it as you're going through. Don't look at it as a disadvantage. Just focus on the goodness of the Lord and the things that you can do that was in, that is within your control. So that you won't have those anxious thoughts. But when you do get those anxious thoughts and they multiply, you think on the goodness of the Lord and his comfort will delight in you. I want you to have a blessed and beautiful day. And just reflect on the goodness of the Lord. When you get a chance today, go and read Psalms 94 and 19. And I'm going to read it for you just one last time before I get off of here. When my anxious thoughts multiply within me, your comforts delight me. And you just tell Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood that covers me. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for comforting me. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for giving me a word of encouragement. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for loading me up with benefits today. However those benefits may be to you, whether it's wisdom you're seeking, knowledge you're seeking, whether it's peace that you need, whether it's love that you need, whether it's joy, you know, whether it's favor, 
whatever you need the Holy Spirit to load you up with today so that it can comfort so that that it can comfort you and your thoughts don't overtake you. Just ask the Holy Spirit for it today. It may you just need to wrap your loving arms around you and just think of the goodness of God and just reflect on his goodness and just think about God or Jesus holding you in his arms. Just wrapping his arms around you. Mm. Nothing more. Just in the moment. And just tell him thank you. Tell him that you love him. Tell him how much you need him. Tell him how you don't want to do life without him. And just reflect on the goodness of the Lord. And when you feel that warming sensation, you know that that is the power of the Holy Spirit. And just tell him thank you. So when you get a chance today, Psalms 94 and 19, and do as Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 tells you, and you will be at peace. Another one I want to leave you with today, I want to say it's Matthew 6 and 34. Matter of fact, I'm going to check it right now because this one has been in my spirit a lot. And I know it's for me and it will probably be for someone else too. So I'm going to get it for you right now instead of having you to go and search it to look for it. I'm going to give it to you. And I said Matthew chapter 6 and 30. Give me a minute. Mm. 6 and 34, but I'm going to take it and read it from 31, but 36, Matthew 6 and 34 is it. It says, therefore, do not, and this is verse 31, so I'm sorry, Matthew 6 and 31, and I'm going to take it down to 34, but Matthew 6 and 34 is the one I want you to focus on today. So Matthew chapter 6, verse 31, therefore, do not worry or be anxious, perpetually uneasy, distracted, saying what are we going to eat or what are we going to drink or what are we going to wear mm. for the pagan gentiles eagerly seek all these things but do not worry for your heavenly father knows that you are in that you need them verse 33 but first and most importantly seek aim at strive after his kingdom and his righteousness his way of doing and being right the attitude and character of god and all these things will be given to you also now here we are matthew 6 and 34 and this one has been in my spirit oh and i want you to take it with you today so do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself each day has enough trouble of its own so as you go and read Psalms 94 and 19, you take on Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, and you also take on Matthew 6 and 34 today. Don't worry about nothing. As the song say, don't worry, be happy now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't worry. Ooh, be happy. Ooh. Be happy. Ooh. Have a great day.